going to start off with Coach uh, Scott from Motion Lakes High School. Another big win tonight, 31 to 6 over Cox. Started off a little questionable at first. I think the weather had something to do with that. But like you said in the huddle, there, real resilient on behalf of your football team tonight. We just see it out there that you like or dislike. Them. Well, I think you know this whole week set up challenges. You know, first going into Cox uh, week and preparing. You know, it's going to be a different week because the scout team has got to learn that type of offense that we don't face every you know every single day um, from all you know from other teams and those, you present those challenges. The weather. Uh, even those guys get, trying to get a practice in this week was tough, you know, um, and, and we, we were able to get those practices, but often later practices. And then we get out here on the game and, you know, it's, it's finally you get a chance to play. And we were blessed to be able to get on a field turn field. And you know, I think that definitely helped us out with some of our speed. But like I said, just wasn't clicking. We weren't putting things together, put the ball on the ground. And we haven't done that. I mean, our turnover ratio is really, 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 really good. And um, we put the ball on the ground a couple times. And like I said, it wasn't just because of what we did. I mean, we made mistakes, but those guys were resilient, kept fighting in there and you can just feel as we walked in the locker room that we left some points on the board you know just missing the ball off the hands right there Quincy Watts and he, he catches those moments and with his eyes closed you know and just a couple things here in the bad snap a drop ball and uh stay back to back to those guys we got to come out here and be physical and answer the call and those guys did and we were able to get us uh, get some drives and really establish our drive we came out really quick early on Pounded it. They stopped us, but we still took it down about you know, 55 yards or so. I think we wore them down, and that next drive we come back and then they're able to be physical with the run game. And you mentioned the throwing of the ball, the weather a little difficult this evening. You pounded it in there, like you said. Jason Lewis actually had a rushing touchdown. Brandon Simmons, again, another stellar game. And like you said, just pounding the ball. Um, is that more of what we're going to see from Ocean Lakes down the stretch, or do you prefer to keep that throwing in there? Well, I think that, you know, you got – we're blessed in being able to be multidimensional. You know, we're gonna line up in two-back stuff and still have the receivers to, to be able to play action and still run screen game and then um, and then pound it and or go five wide and have the fastest receiving core that I think the state has seen in a long time from one through five receivers. You know, so we're gonna uh, we'll, we'll, we really keep our packages and we can you know we're gonna just do the best that we can to take what the defense is giving us. Talk know. about the defense for you guys. Derek Nadi was in the backfield all night. Uh, they got some big interior linemen that seemed like you guys were able to man, I, I get off the ball. Definitely. Like. And I, you know, um, we prepared our guys and told them their blocking scheme is going to be one that you're going to you're going to fill on Saturday and Sunday. You know, they, they're going to cut, they're going to double team, and they're going to wear on those big guys. And I just thought we were great inside, took away their dive, and then we were able to get some, um, get some hits on the ball with their quarterback, you know, knowing the ratio. They're 10 to 1 with the quarterback touchdowns to the pitch man. And so we were really wanting to clog up the middle and then clog up the quarterback and, and, and try to give away the pitch. And I think we did a good job. We got They got a couple outside, but we'll take those. And then when they, they kept trying to come back inside, we were able to plug it. Not too often you see a uh, triple option offense. How do you think you guys handled it? I think uh, I, would, I would say this is one of our better performances uh, against one of the better Cox teams in the last two to three years. And I, I think so. I, I, I think we did a good job. Our defense was stellar all night. And the linebacker play from, you know, we got three guys that are basically starters was uh, Giovanni Simmons, Chase Howard, Jamal Spitz. Those guys really did a good job of getting over top when they did try to pull it and uh, kept those guys you know, in long distance situations. And we don't want to be in 32 against the triple option team. Brandon Simmons, running back from Ocean Lakes, another big game for you. Um, you were sneaking in the holes all night. Passing proved to be difficult, and they just fed you the ball all evening. Um, give me a little feedback about what you thought about your performance this evening. Well, pretty much uh, my performance tonight, I think, was based off uh, more so just what we do in practice. We uh, we put ourselves in uncomfortable positions to get comfortable, and uh, pretty much that's what happened tonight. And I think that, you know, the offensive linemen, they blocked in uh, the B-backs. Javani Simmons, he gave me blocks and uh, made holes for me to get through. And pretty much I just took the coach in that. Uh, they gave me a practice, and I just ran my holes and just made plays. What do you guys expect going down the stretch? You got a couple of more games here in the Beach District before you start the regionals. Yes, um, are you guys happy with the performance you saw here this evening? Well, pretty much, um, you know, even though we uh, scored, I scored our opponent um, 31 to 6, um, pretty much we just go back and we just look at what, the things that we did wrong. Pretty much is that. And, um, you know, coming down the road, you know, facing against other teams, I just think that uh, we can't get complacent and we uh, just have to keep working hard and stay hungry and just uh, let teams know that we're coming for them.